Um, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. So, let's see. We left off with you guys uh, managing to shimmy down into an opening in the side of a crater that after a few meters in uh, in the black sands and the frost blown quite so far in really getting the sense that this is a, a this is a designed like it feels like hallways that you've been in in like starships or buildings it's very straight uh it's dark but you have you know various sources of light um and it extends quite a ways so what do you do uh i think we were intending to descend were we not um I There's no descent the yet, so the the passage travel. It's, remember, it's a descent you had into to, darkness. <laughs> yeah, you had to drop down. Uh, yeah, down like the side, five meters or so. But um, it's a perpendicular. Perpendicular. This is that perpendicular. That? Yes. Yeah. Then let's explore. We're here for the treasure. Let's go. Yeah. Um, does hold... Blackwood try and take the lead, or is he just still going to follow us? No. Uh, no, he's just kind of <laughs> looking at you guys. <laughs> I mean, it was, I know it was a stupid yeah. question, but it's always worth asking. Um, yeah, I just thought I was going first to visit somebody. somebody. <laughs> so, yeah, Wraith has a lantern. Uh, Vera um, has I had, like, a, a light like clipped to his glove. Yeah, I think because it was wide enough for two. Um, Correct. Two, two, two abreast. So I guess. Do we take the lead then, Vero? I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> yeah, because um, you don't have a you don't have a torch, do you? Um, I'm relying on somebody else having a torch, I think. This yeah. is, this is we, another well, we've got two sources of light. The lantern. I, yeah. This is another good reason why I'm holding the lantern up. Dippy, yeah, and <laughs> Dippy also has a directional light. I mean, so. it's, yeah. yeah, it's not a great light, but yeah. No, yeah. it's it's not awful. I mean, it's not a spot, but you know, it's it's pretty decent. I'm kind of hoping. So yeah, as window you, window. I'll probably take up the rear after Blackwood. As you travel down the hall, because uh, you really can't think of it as anything else at this point, um, you begin to notice signs of design, uh, but. Although it definitely feels familiar, like some some kind of you know worked hallway, it's just different enough that you're fairly certain this is not a crashed uh, or buried facility or crashed vessel of any kind. Um, you do notice uh, in a couple of spots. I would say probably Mercy notices first. Uh, with his instinct, and then possibly points it out to others. But you notice there's some uh, blaster scoring in a couple of places. Some of it um, looks old, but some of it looks quite new. Mm. Go ahead with your question. That I was just about to ask, can we tell how old it was? That's what I was about to ask. So um, there are some marks that look like they could have been there for many 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 years uh, and but you definitely can see some marks that are very fresh probably within the last few days mm. interesting um are we traveling carefully or are we just kind of nonchalantly rolling the halls with our lights just sweeping every which way I, i'm d i'm doing carefully i have a gun out and looking around Okay. Yeah, and I think Mercy's pretty nonchalant. <laughs> okay, but he's yeah, not got so... a torch, so <laughs> right. Well, again, it's not terribly wide hall at this point. Um... I'll I'll nonchalantly hold the lantern up for you. 
Uh, so after probably you would guess, uh, you know, no one is taking accurate measurements. Dippy is, but like he's not, you know, there's not really any way to project or display what he has except for his communication with uh, Kalia. Um, but after probably a hundred meters or so, you come to, and thankfully you have lights, you come to a void uh, where your lights continue forward, but they don't penetrate the darkness ahead of you. Thankfully, though, you do see that the floor stops. Okay. It's not like a wall. It just doesn't reflect anything, is it? No, no. No, it's just the, the hallway was there, and then it's not. Oh, and uh, big open chamber. You... <laughs> Correct. Uh -huh. um, it doesn't look like the hallway was sheared in any way. I mean, it's a smooth transition. Well, a smooth break, I guess, would be the better way to describe it. Um, so it looks like this was just some kind of a opening, a hatch, as it were, into a much larger space. Oh, okay. Um, and looking out into this space, if you aim your lights up, I'd say your lights can probably reach what would be the ceiling, uh, but it looks like more of the same, just the same kind of metallic um, structure. Uh, but but if you, see... you can't see the bottom, you can't see the far wall. Is there anything loose lying around that we can throw off the edge so we can try and gauge how deep it is? Well, the halls are actually pretty... They're pretty tight, but, you know, you might have, like, a, a, a bolt or a random, you know, thing in your pocket that you could toss... toss Honestly, I'm got, if I've got some to. loose change, I'll throw a coin over the edge. Sure, yeah. There's still primitive coinage that people use sometimes, especially in a place like Shadowport, so... So you told me you were broke. Listen. <laughs> listen, I will. I will throw a random piece of something. I mean, in my pocket. that coin he's tossing over is probably worth of a, a tenth of a tenth of a credit. So, but he said he was broke. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it, it's, it it's this. It's the. It's this or throw Dippy. Oh, well, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> 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 wow, not a chance. Going, yeah. um. So, uh, I mean, I don't know, like, how accurate the whole throw something on the side is, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that you don't hear it hit anything. You might hear it ping off the side, mm. um, and maybe you take that for the bottom, but yeah. Mm. I'll turn around to the others. I don't think we've got enough rope. Well, I mean, you've got like 500 meters of rope. At That's least a lot of rope. It does. Yeah. And you also have some, some equipment spend still. Ooh. So, I mean. Yeah. Um... There are other things you could consider. However, as you're kind of looking at this void and looking around, you do notice as you're kind of moving your lights left and right, because I, I would imagine you'd probably be drawn drawn to that space. But off to your left, on the left hand side of the hall, I should say, uh, there is a, a portal, uh, an open uh, hatch. I guess is one way you could say it. Hmm. There are some blaster scorings kind of on the right hand side of where the opening is. And it There's looks no... like the surface of the material is somewhat marred on uh, kind of where the seam would be as well. Um so looking around, there's no kind of panel or anything. That so if you look... look at the blaster scoring, it looks like yes, there was a oh. panel of some kind. Oh. Hey, Kayla, why don't you take a look at this? Um, yeah, so I'll turn around from 
just uh, literally just my head going all around and keep going and like pointing to di- um dippy to like you know look over in that direction and then i'll um head over and just okay. start having a look yeah if you want to investigate easy. the remnants of the panel why don't you give me a tools roll tools we're going to make this uh, difficult, uh, so you're going to have a penalty. Okay. Because it's not any kind of technology you're familiar with. Um, so yeah, you're going to roll 3d6 and take the two lowest. Okay, so I'll take that, get that off. So let's go. Seven. That looked like that was 2d6. No, it was three. It wasn't? I guess I just couldn't see them all. Yeah, yeah I got a three, three, and a one. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so seven is not enough for you to really glean any information. Um, if you wanted to be absolutely sure, you could, of course, spend a resolve and uh, use your that would be your uh, tech not pilot. Your yeah, your tech uh, talent. Um, yeah, I'll spend the resolve to do that. Okay. So yeah, with your automatic success, you can tell that this definitely was some kind of a panel for operating a door or a hatch. And as you look at it, and then also kind of expand your your scrutiny to the door doorway itself. Um, it's it's very apparent to you where the the seam would be for the doorway to slide out. It looks like it's self uh, sealing, um, so there's no way for you to access the door. But would probably still function with a little bit of jimmying of some of the technology inside. The technology inside is interesting to you. So the the majority of technologies that um, the current you know understanding. Uh, that that people of the the galaxy use is in some ways very similar to our own, just advanced, you know, circuit boards and yeah, uh, that kind of thing, but more more futury, as it were. Um, but this appears to operate on crystals of some kind, and there are uh, several burnt out crystals in the panel. Uh, a few that are not, however. Okay. And it looks like they just kind of slide into slots. Each crystal is maybe um, anywhere from th- three to four centimeters long, maybe with a a, a diameter of uh, a centimeter at most. Uh, various colors, and they just kind of slide into slots. Okay. So yeah, um, so I'll kind of be saying this as I'm looking through it and just be like, so this is, like, in all my years of, like, of looking into things and taking things apart, I've never seen technology where it uses crystals. Like, this is very strange. Um, mm. Like, I might be able to jiggle something out and sort something out here, but I don't know. Like, we might need to see if we can find some crystals i mean we definitely need to find some crystals because i think that'll be worth it but we might need to find some crystals open the door but i could be able to do it and open it well the door is open yeah to be clear I, I, yeah, the well, yeah open. i mean like move the door sorry yeah. um, um so the, these crystals are uh are they wedged into the panel or can i lift one out oh no they're easy to pull out okay so i lift out do you think these are worth anything he read my mind <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, they might be. I mean, the crystals at the end of the day, even if it's not, not going to be worth. Um, toy, well, it's it got to be, be some kind of a few credits for somebody wanting something pretty. A few credits. Yeah. I just look Mark disappointed. Redham, why don't you? Uh, why don't you roll me a d6 to see how many intact crystals you can retrieve? Oh, gilly dokily. Five. Nice. All right. So yeah, there are five intact crystals from the panel. Whether or not they're worth anything, I mean, to an appropriate collector. uh, Well, uh, does anyone have? 
Uh, what skill shall we say would be liked for appraisal? Intellect. Who's who's good at intellect? <laughs> Who's smart. I'll step back. <laughs> my, my intellect is three. I will have a go. It's one d six, isn't it? No, it's two d six. Well, yeah, two d six. Yeah, no, you. it's two d six. You're just trying to appraise whether or not this might be worth something to someone. Plus your Nine. intellect. Yeah. Okay. Nine is your total. Nine. Yeah. Total. Yeah, that's a success. So, um, yeah, I mean, you think there's probably some people you could sell these to as objects de art, as it were. Um, mm. Whether or not they have some other value, it's difficult to say, but you're you're probably being a little cagey when you set a few credits. You're probably guessing several hundred for each one, at the very <laughs> least. <laughs> I am wondering if Blackwood would know, or am I just being an idiot? Blackwood is... Um... Actually, at this point, Black is just kind of standing to the side. And now that you mention it, are you looking at him to get a sense? I have to be honest, I don't think I would because I've, I've okay. already decided the man is an idiot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fair. he's just kind of like, he's there, he's following us. Yeah, yeah he's not we're. commenting. He's following you, um, and he's, you know, when anyone does care to look at him, he is kind of like gandering around, um, but doesn't seem terribly focused on anything. Uh-huh. Hmm, yeah, I, yeah. He's not a fellow. Um... Okay, so have we got any broad ideas how we get down from here? Well, it's funny that you say that, because if you <laughs> go through the open doorway, uh, there does appear to be a stairwell there. Oh! I should have my light in, looking around. So, it's it's definitely a stairwell. Um, for lack of a better term, I mean... It, there's something a little odd about it. Maybe it's the angle. Maybe it's the the rise versus the tread. It's not quite built for human, mm. right? Um, okay, but it is definitely a stairwell, and it it goes down a half flight, and then there's a landing, and then it goes down a half flight back towards you, and so on and so forth. Yeah, kind of spiraling downward, right? Uh huh. Yep. So we can go to Icky Darkness or go down uh, stairs of doom. Mm. <laughs> and what? the stairs eventually yeah. go further than your light can detect, right? Like it also kind of goes down into darkness. Yeah. Mm. Well, I guess we're taking the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, look over Mercy. I think both of us should go Is first. Yeah. <laughs> And I just do a little flourish. Be my guest. <laughs> all right. He, he hits gun right the trace. It's like, all right, let's head out. He, he starts walking down. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll follow behind him. Yeah. So you probably descend 10 stories easily. Wow. Well, I mean, you know, it's not like these are super long stairs. You can do descending is, is pretty easy. Yeah, to coming back up is going to be the killer. Maybe, depending upon what you're hauling. Um, or how fast you're running. Or how fast you're running. <laughs> <laughs> so about 10 stories worth, and there's nothing. Um, you do, Kalia, as you're traveling down, you do notice you begin at now that you've looked at that panel, you're beginning to see in the walls kind of enough variance that you feel like you can identify a couple of different access panels. Yeah. Ooh. Um if you wanted to access them for whatever reason, I just wanted to let you know that you see them. Oh, so unless you tell everybody to stop, um, you know, we'll keep descending. Um, uh, but after 
I would say Kaylee probably would. But now we've opened one panel and found that there's there's crystals inside. The more information we have to try and maybe get enough crystals to make something work because so, she does I'm not she doesn't specifically say it out loud, but she will want to take them crystals back at some point of mercy to try and get a panel to work. Okay. <laughs> so uh if you're gonna stop it at just a, a random panel or the first one you notice? Um, yeah, it'll be the first one I noticed, but it's probably not the first one we come across. Sure, um, you may have passed a few before you really got the sense. Yeah. Um, why don't you roll a d6 for me? D6, d6. One. One. So, opening the panel takes a bit of work. Are you telling everybody to stop, or are they going to carry on without you? Um... I'll probably say, um, I'm just I'm just gonna have a look at this, and then it's up to them how far ahead they go. Okay. Um, What's everybody doing? Well, I don't think we'd I leave her behind. Up. Yeah, so we've, one of at least one of us has got to wait because we've got the light sources. Nah, mm. I've got she, she, she has Dippy. Dippy. Dippy's not gonna leave her side. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good boy. Um. So yeah, you you know pull out one of your tools. It's not obviously made for this, but it's kind of a, a slim uh, tool that you would, you would use to slot into, you know, extremely fine um, spaces. And you think you can find the seam of what you've identified as the panel, uh, and you're able to slip the the shimmy, we'll call it, in. <laughs> And kind of work around and find what you think might be a release. And yeah, you pop this panel open, and behind it are conduits. What do you found? A light switch? Um, <laughs> no, I don't really know what you mean by conduit. Not gonna lie. So, um, think very small. Trunking. Small <laughs> pipelines. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. so they could be for any number of things. These are not massive pipes that you would you would think that fluid would normally travel through, but they could be power conduits. They could be um, potentially some kind of gas exchange. You're not sure. Unless you want to cut one open. No, I'll, I'll think of it. I'll think against that. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. So just like, oh, it's just um, just some conduits for now. Um. Are they running? They're running up and down. Sorry. Or. Uh, the majority of them are vertical. Uh, there are a couple of places where they junction off to the left or the right. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's oh, it's, it's just some conduits. Um, and then I'll just. Um, carry on walking with the another eye out. Okay. Mm. So yeah, I mean, you see one of those panels every once in a while. Um, Is it roughly in the same place wanna... going down? Yeah, so imagine that uh, on each landing um, there would be a panel probably roughly in the same place. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's one of them. Safe to assume it's probably going to be the same thing, so they can access and mend. Possibly, yeah. Mend and stuff. Okay. okay. But at least you now have an idea of what these panels look like. Yeah. So, um, after you descend ten floors, you finally reach. Once you kind of switch back to the side where the stairwell would have started when you st came down. Um. So it's a full you know, rotation. Uh, you're on that landing, and you do see two, um, you assume, doorways. Um, one on either side of the landing. And then, of course, it continues to go down as well. Yeah. Are they, are they doorways, so that there are no doors in them, they're open? Are they just... No, there are, there are you assume, doors. Okay. They they don't look like bare wall. Um, they are oddly, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and say kind of coffin shaped. Ooh, that's not accurate. And I mean, <laughs> I don't know that that uh, 
any of you like I don't know that they use they make like good old pie box coffins in <laughs> this you know kind of future ish fantasy, but they do kind of have that very orthogonal hexagonal shape right to where it's yeah. uh and much like the one up top did as well it's it's similar it's not any different from that um each portal though is i forgot to mention this about two meters tall oh okay so the built a place was taller than most humans um potentially or maybe they just like grand spaces so i mean we we knew that somebody had been inside the 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 corridor upstairs because of the blaster marks any more of the blaster marks on the corridor or on the walls down here there are um and the the panels have apparently been blown open but whatever they did up top appears not to have worked here oh so okay okay. i mean wait you reckon they were sealing something in uh i mean if if anyone looks at the method of blasting i mean it's it's not different from up top so it would be difficult to say Mm. whether or not it was done with any intention other than blast it and see what happens yeah okay so could have been that somebody came in blasted the door panel and the door happened to open upstairs whereas these ones just stayed shut or could have somebody been was trying to <laughs> break it so it didn't open yeah could be. because there was something on the other side right i mean so kayla's had a look at these things i mean i'd say to her um uh, do you reckon you could fix any of these panels Possibly. Um, we have five crystals that Mark pulled. We do. Um, they need crystals to work, and without testing, I don't know if a certain crystals are needed for certain things um, and certain places, so it's possible I might be able to work something out. But I need Your... crystals. Another guess you have is... Um... In addition to crystals, there probably needs to be a power source of some kind. Oh, yeah, that'd be clever, too. Um, and there was there was indications up top of... I mean, I don't want to be too obvious about it, but some indications of, like, prying uh, kind of around the, the, the jam of the door. So... It could be that they forced the door up top even after blasting the panel and nothing happened. Oh, um, okay. Would be your yeah. guess. No power. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to try and link power into it somehow and mess with the crystals. I mean, you you're carrying something that's got a lot of power in it right now. Well, there's that. Uh, there's also Dippy. Which also has a power supply, and there's also equipment spends. All of you are carrying backpacks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, pull a generator out of my backpack. We have two. <laughs> we've got. We have two, yeah. two spends. See, you're, that's on you for assuming generators are big. Uh, oh, the one I was imagining was. I mean, right. it wouldn't be too far fetched <laughs> that Kalia would bring an alternative power source wherever she went. Right. Just in case, because I mean, as much as um, Dippy is sufficient, is self sufficient and whatnot, there's a chance that he could lose power for some reason. Mm. Um, so yeah. you need backup. He brought some spare batteries exactly. for the droid. Yeah, because droids do need to be plugged in from time to time to recharge. Mm. I mean, they have they have pretty decent life on their internal batteries, but. It's not forever. It's not like they're run by a fusion cell or anything. Because what we need is a small fusion power plant about the size of a coffee jar. 
<laughs> I don't know that I'd allow the size of a coffee jar, but I would allow probably the size of a suitcase. Yeah. I was going to say really big coffee jar, one of those industrial ones. Um, uh, hmm. But yeah, That's I mean, going to cost how, how many? Spends, how many? Though, if you want to have two... something like that. So, like... I'm, I'm going to leave that up to up to you, Tony, whether or not Kayla would have. I mean, it I... sounds like something she would have, she might have. Wesson or had herself. Yeah, yeah. I reckon. I'd so, I, mean, I, I'd have, I would have some kind of spare power source, power. Um, as for, so, for do you want back. big and reusable, or do you want smaller and one shot? Big and reusable is going to be two spends. Smaller and one shot is one. Uh, going along with the theme, probably one. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you have a, a limited use, um, smaller charged uh think like the the batteries you could buy at a store right to recharge your phone right something like that yeah, yeah. um it's an already charged battery uh that's rated to charge anything up to and including like a heavy blaster cannon for a short period of time you know it's it's pretty potent hmm. um but it's generally kind of a one shot thing uh, or it can charge a whole bunch of smaller devices, you know, over a short period. Do you want to try to link it in to a doorway and power it to open? I will assume you also have various cables and whatnot as a part of the spend. I'm not going to make you spend for those two. Yeah, I got some jump cables. Um... Or something, right? Yeah, I mean... There's if... also those conduits in the wall. Well, it's one of them, so I'll say, um, because Mercy asked, I was like, well, yeah, I'll try and pull out this this um, this charger and just say, well, I've got this, um, but I think I don't. I think we'd only probably have one shot at it. Um, oh, choose a door then. Okay, so I'm going to need you to roll a d6 for each door. Uh, how many was it? Two. There's two doors. Two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll say right and left for ease. Uh, okay, so we'll do right and left. Okay. I got five and a one. Um. So I'm just going to count the five as right and the one as left, because that's what they look like on my screen. Um, yeah, yeah, five, yeah. yeah okay, so on the right, the door, when you take a look at that panel, five of the crystals are fried. Uh, and the door needs six. Oh. There are mm. six slots. Uh, on the left, one crystal is fried. Can we swap them over? We're at one shot at one door, right? Yeah. Well, you have... So, one door needs one crystal, one door needs five, and you have five. So, you yes, you can only open one door. So, we take the remaining crystal or whatever out of... The one that's got the five burnt out and stick that in the door. <laughs> so in other words, Mercy's not offering up any of his crystals. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so which which door? Whichever one. Right or oh, left. Where is it? Left had the five burnt and well, that, well, so it's the right. It. We're doing the right we're doing the right door then. Yeah. The, yeah. No, the right door has five burnt. It's the other one there. Either way, though, you basically take all the crystals from one door and put it mm -hmm. in the other one. Yeah, we can, we can, we can generally choose. We have enough to choose one door. So you see that mm -hmm. we move one crystal or move five crystals. I'm gonna we guess move one we crystal. With, yeah, we go with one. Okay. One. Okay, so you're gonna open the door on the right. Um. So now you need a tools roll at a penalty to figure out how to hook power up to the panel. Now that you've got 
six good crystals in there. Okay, so it's three D six. Take two, the two lowest. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, not bad though. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, so that is twelve. Yeah. So you succeed. Um, and because you rolled two fives, oh no, only one five is going to count. Yeah. Um, so because you rolled a five, one of the now six good crystals does not burn out. So you have one remaining crystal that isn't completely fried. Your power source is fried. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the door slides open. And I'm just going to assume it, it stays open because the power's gone. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Boy, that would be awful. <laughs> Open, closed. <laughs> yeah. Somebody get a foot in there quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, so yeah, we'll take. I'll take yeah. the last crystal. Um, I'll nod to Vero to shine his light into the room. So it's not a room; it's another hallway. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. It extends down. Uh, probably 50 meters uh, and then it looks like it ends in a T-intersection. You also see a couple of doorways on the side. God damn it. More doors. <laughs> now, from what you can see, the doors along the side are open. Ooh. Okay, so it's just like the section was closed. Okay. Let's, uh... Who's going to go and peek around the corner of the door? <laughs> People with the lights. Anybody who's sneaky? Anybody who's scouty? Oh. <laughs> I think it'd be better. I mean, I always assume it'd be very well mercy up front. Just held back. I mean, right. what would you roll for sneaky? Uh, <laughs> sneaky is, I think... Whatever the outlaw specializes in, I think is the sneaky stat. Instinct, so I think that's instinct. instinct, I think. Instinct is more for scouting, that's, isn't that's it? Scout. That's the scout one, though, isn't it? Is that what you said? No, outlaw. No, I said outlaw. Whatever oh, outlaw. outlaw is good in. That's Which you, mate. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Ryan. Right. Mighty um, outlaw. Mm. I'm a scout. So though. speed is agility, hand eye coordination, reflexes. Instinct is intuition, perception, wariness. So, yeah, I think because agility, I would do speed for sneaky. Well, I got speed of three, so. Okay, so do you want to sneak up ahead of everybody, or do you want to maintain group cohesion as you move into this hallway? Uh, I'm, I'm going to probably sneak up ahead a little bit. Okay. All With right, your light see. on. Well, I'm, I'm gonna probably uh, pass it over to Mercy, okay. and just okay. you know stay within range of uh, like what I could see, and you know, and just sure. probably go yeah. like within the light so range. So you're not that I go. you're not the source of light, and you're on the edge of what is yeah. this. Okay, okay. So if we're gonna continue forward, then I will assume that you and Mercy have similar understanding of things like tactical hand signals and stuff like that to where you can communicate quietly if you wanted to. Uh, uh, I would okay. think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, because you're both soldiers. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll let you move forward like that. Go ahead and make a sneak roll for me. Okay. Or, uh, uh, so, that's a nine. Uh, six plus three is a nine. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, okay. okay. Noise. And why don't we have Mercy make an instinct roll for me? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. <clears throat> hey, 11. Nice. 11, okay. So as you're moving forward, we'll say you get to the first doorway, which happens to be on your left. Um, Assuming you're going to peek inside, Max? Oh, yeah. Okay, so as you kind of like peek around the corner, 
uh, and, you know, kind of fast enough to do a quick head count and then lean over again and take a look, not noticing anything in there. You see um, what appears to be uh, some kind of dormitory. Um, mm. There are slabs uh, that are kind of spread somewhat evenly throughout the room. Each slab is about two meters in length, maybe about a half a meter wide. Uh, and they're stacked in threes. But what's interesting is that the the lowest slab is effectively resting on the floor. Hmm. Uh, but then the second tier and the third tier are essentially levitating above the lowest slab, if that makes sense. Hmm. With enough space in between them for something easily as tall as you to kind of duck under and, and kind of lay on a slab. Um, there does not appear to be any kind of bedding, uh, but there does appear to be some kind of, we'll just say fabric material, so you'd assume some kind of mattress. Um, hmm. Each of these slabs also has uh, on the side actually facing the door uh, kind of attached to it what looks like uh, like a, a cargo compartment, as it were, so maybe a, like a mini locker of some kind. Uh, and yep. there are, like I said, several rows, rows of these. It's a fairly large room. If you had to guess, you would say probably 50 by 60 meters. Uh, Damn, there are, huge. There are a couple of more doors oriented in the room as well. This dormitory could probably sleep 50 or 60 people easily. Hmm. Um, I go to like to the closest one and kind of check, like, you know, I actually get a look through some of the, uh, I would say cubbies, like, like, you know, like little, like the little containers you were talking about. Sure. The Just take a pick in a couple yeah. of them. So before you do that, we're going to cut back to Mercy. Uh -huh. Um, Mercy, you, with that instinct check, you notice movement on the ceiling. Ooh. Uh, the ceiling is, uh, as I said, the doorways are about two meters tall. The ceiling is about uh, three meters above your head. Uh, and so and... it's just out of the torchlight, is it, uh, up there? No, I mean, it's it's somewhat visible, but it's dim, it's shadowed. Okay. Because um, your, your, your lights are pretty potent, right? I mean, they're, yeah. they're sci-fi lights. They can, they can pierce through some dark. Okay. Um, but so this whole let's call it a facility might as well thus far has been kind of grays and silvers you know met metallic you've not really seen any kind of color indications of any kind really any mm. lights the only thing that's had color has been some some of those crystals from the panels right yeah um and what you see moving around on the ceiling does appear to be of a similar color, kind of a kind of a drab, um, grayish, almost mottled, white and grayish color. Oh, um, I think as soon as, soon as there's movement, I, I think instinctively the the torch would have shone up directly at it to see what it was. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> A good instinctual movement, and I'm going to give you an extra destiny for that. Everybody also oh. gets a destiny for last session. Um, so you should have a total of uh, a minimum of two destiny at this point, unless I've given you a point of destiny. We, we already so. had two, I think. Um, oh, you, oh from, that's right. From the very first session. session. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, everybody should be at a base of four. Okay. Um. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to say everybody has 5 cuz I probably wasn't giving out destiny as much as I should. Okay. Um, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah. So that includes you Mark for what you just did. So everybody is at 5 destiny. Um So as you as you instinctually just kind of move the light upwards, that movement unfortunately has attracted uh whatever is up there. And so what we're going to say is happening 
is we're going to move Max over here. Yep. To kind of indicate that he was checking out the door. And I'm going to turn you, Max, uh, sure. just so that you're facing the other direction as bad things happen. Um, Blackwood, of <laughs> course, is kind of behind everyone. Um, and we're going to say that all of you were staying pretty much together, right? So you're all still yeah, kind of in the same so. location. So why don't we move everybody back to that band? And then what we have is... I wonder if I can... Can I make them upside down? We'll see here in a second. <laughs> I gotta change my... Oh. The fuck? No, bro. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Curtains will open the windows this morning. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> um. No. Oh, you can stop now. Okay. <laughs> we get. We get. We get the idea. No. <laughs> but, and for no, anyone who suffers from arachnophobia, it's fine. They've only got four legs. Yeah, they've only got four <laughs> legs, but there is no, six of them. There's six. There's six legs. <laughs> six legged, six of them. 36 legs in total. They're not yeah, wasps. No I'm fine. All yeah. right. So um, there are six of these things kind of milling about on the ceiling. They are about a meter tall, if you include that kind of massive bulbous. Uh, thorax that they have. The butt sack is fine. Um, that's, sack. That's great. <laughs> um, sack. Yeah, it is a well, now that's that yeah. other game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so these things have reacted to the light and are going. They they appear aggressive, uh, but uh, we do need to do initiative for all of you since you weren't technically surprised. And nobody has called out an action, but they are going to be aggressive. So I think we will do an initiative roll, okay. which is just speed. Everybody make a speed roll. Speed. Okay. If you succeed, you're going to be able to act before the creatures. If you fail, you're acting after them. Ooh, nice. Ten. Uh, <laughs> roll double Ten. ones. Oh no! Oh no! No, well, Snake eyes. You're, you're looking in the room. So yeah, like, yeah. Not even aware yeah, well, that hey, they're I'm still yeah. rolling it right there. That's why. Hey, that's why I say that makes sense. Is like I'm probably going last because you now, know I'm like technically though that is yeah. a speed roll and you're an outlaw. You could spend a point of resolve to automatically succeed without consequence. Mm, seven. Yeah, I'm gonna spend. A, I haven't used one. I'm. A, I'm gonna use one. Okay. To uh, do that. So, um, all of you have succeeded, so nobody's going to be held back, uh, but we are still going to do a round robin as we go. So, who wants to take the first action? It, aside from Vero, because I, I don't want Vero to act until he realizes what's going on. But he, um, I think it's not is, going yeah. to be like kept from acting. <clears throat> yeah, it probably would be Mercy, I think. Yeah. These things, just to be clear, though, these things are kind of aggressively moving towards you on the ceiling. Um, okay, so ooh, backing up would be would be advisable, but I don't know if well, we're not going to leave Vero back there. So um, I think draw a gun, and I'm going to shoot. I've, unfortunately, I can't use both guns because I'm holding a torch in the other hand. So okay. I can't use my I can't use my funky ability, but um, but I'll certainly try and shoot one if I can. Wouldn't work with these guys anyway. They're not minions. Oh no. Um. Yeah. Don't worry, they're not villains. They're just foes. <laughs> they still go down. I don't know. They go into attackers. That's fairly villainous, I think. <laughs> um. <laughs> villains means they're on scale with you. Yeah. Uh, or or worse. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and make your your shot at one. Um, okay. Um, um in terms of range, are we... range, yeah, well, I guess we're okay with that, right? Um, uh, if you shoot at one of these two, yes. Yep. 
I think it's one of the nearest ones for definite. Yes. Um, what we got? Uh, Eleven. Oh, that'll hit. Yeah. So you hit one, and L one. It's gonna it's gonna drop to the ground. Why don't you tell me where your shot hits it? Um, I imagine, it dies and I'll add something. Oh, I imagine. Um, it would have been a a reaction shot. So I think he's drawn the gun, fired. It's probably hit it straight through the abdomen, to be honest. And maybe it made a horrible part. popping sound as it went through. So yeah, as as the abdomen pops, um, you see this thing just kind of fall to the ground and its legs kind of curl up as as you've maybe seen with with insects of a type um what you do also see though as it drops is that its blood is sizzling as it hits oh the no <laughs> oh no of of the the floor okay um uh, yeah and i'll be shouting a warning back to the others um and to and so that vero can hear as well um incoming or something very simple like that sure whether you'd have heard the gunshot anyway i suppose but oh yeah he definitely would have heard your gunshot <laughs> yeah because you also like slugs or something in there yeah loud yeah they're so, loud, very very loud bangs. they are percussive and explosive <laughs> which most people don't do anymore no all right old so school. i can imagine in this hallway just the echo of it going as well i know we've all yeah. just gone <laughs> Yeah. So um, <laughs> we're going to have three of them kind of move forward. Mm. Now look what you've done. How you've rude. encouraged them. <laughs> they are going to attack the source of light. Uh, of course. And, and the big gunshot. So why don't you make a oh, speed defense yeah. task for me? Okay. With, uh, these are foes. So, so you're at a penalty of two. Oh. So I roll. So unless you have something to mitigate that, you're rolling forty six and in the lowest. Um, I don't think I have anything to mitigate mitigate that right now. So no, okay. um, four forty six. Um, we'll roll, and uh, two is eight plus three is eleven. Oh, yeah, that's still a success. So yeah, these nice. things just kind of as a, as a group skitter forwards, remaining on the ceiling. And once they are, you know, kind of directly above you, but off to the side of it, they all, um, their body kind of rotates, the, the bulbous sack kind of brushes up against the ceiling as their front parts kind of aim at you and they spit. Ooh. Uh, and it's just this sizzling hissing uh uh spray that is extremely focused how do you dodge out of the way of that um it is simply a, a dive dive roll uh out of the way i think um probably back towards wraith kayla and blackwood in that direction okay um but it's yeah just a simple dive roll get gotcha. to my knees and, and yeah, you can see these lines uh, kind of appearing, score marks appearing on the floor where their spittle hits. Yeah. And suddenly there's a very acrid smell uh, that's becoming kind of overpowering. Ooh, yeah, is it creating like a smoky vapor yeah. type thing? Okay. Yeah. Nasty. Okay. So I'm shouting, acid as well. Acid! Um, as we, as he makes this roll and brings himself up, ready to take another shot on his next go. Yeah. Okay. Who's yeah. next? Who's um, yeah, who's next? I think. You guys. <laughs> I mean, um, I'll go next. Um, okay. I mean, it's genuinely just out of sheer panic. Um, <laughs> so I've, obviously we've we didn't know it's anything. We heard we just heard Mercy shoot and then shout, and then there's just spiders everywhere. So it's literally just shooting up. Well, you saw one fall from the ceiling, so at least you have an indication of where they are. <laughs> yeah. So it's um yeah. So it's just shooting up into the ceiling. 
uh, with the pulse pistol. <laughs> okay. Uh, plus my what is it? Blasting. Yeah. Boo -doo. Ten. Nice. Voice. Okay. Tell me how you uh take one out. Um. Probably just just by a look, just like um. Hitting it, I would probably, I probably, I think I probably hit it. What the top of one of the front legs, and it goes okay. through, so it like pops out a leg, but and like goes in that way. Okay, nice. Uh, so yeah, that shears off the leg, which is enough to send it into a state of shock, and it just kind of falls to the ground, uh, and and is, is writhing on the ground as it kind of, its life force just kind of spills out from the sheared off leg. <laughs> and then it's still. Who's next? Oh, they are. My bad. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, okay. Max, unfortunately, they were kind of tracking you because you were ahead and in the dark. And so these two are actually going to head closer to you um, you are aware, though, of what's happening. Like you, you know that there's danger, um, so you're not surprised. So you're going to get a defense roll against two of these as they kind of skitter towards you. These two actually are going to drop to the ground since they are in an area of less light, as it were. And they come up and and try to try to get you. Okay. So they are foes. There are two of them. So you're gonna have a penalty of one to defend yourself against their flailing. Okay. And what's that mean? Uh. So so you need to make a speed test. Okay. You're gonna roll three d six and take the two lowest dice. Okay. And add that to your speed. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay, so that is a failure. You're either going to lose a resolve or... You're an outlaw. It is a speed test. You can also just spend that resolve and not get hit. So really, it's a question of are you going to take a, a hit from these things, or are you still going to lose a point of resolve, but they don't actually hit you? And you get well, to I want to use the resolve happens. and not get hit. Okay, so explain to me how you dodge their attacks as they come at you with their their stabbing and slashing four limbs. Um... So it's like, you know, I hear like, you know, the gunshots and like screeching from on the other side of the room. And I kind of see this like a uh, large shadow creatures coming toward me. I'm like, what the hell? And <laughs> as you said, there are like multiple beds. So what I do is I literally jump onto the second one to get it out of the <laughs> range. Okay, that's fair. So, yeah, they've, they've kind of followed you into the room. And yeah, I like that. Okay, so that leaves max or wraith who's next uh i'll probably go and just like well these things That's... right in my face it's like all right <laughs> and it's like not gonna happen so i just you know with my gun in hands i'm gonna shoot them okay clear that. oh oh sorry i was trying to clear that mm -hmm. all right so that that was two three Oh, so I rolled a six, so I guess I killed both of them. <laughs> uh, you know, that's a good question. I don't know if sixes work against foes. Um, oh, well, that's on minions that. only. Yeah. Is that minions only? Okay, that's fair. I wasn't sure, but I was going to let it fly because I didn't know. Um, <laughs> no, that's fine. I, I, I didn't know if it was either. Yeah, no, it's just minions. Uh, So... 
You do, however, take out one, so tell me how it dies. Nice. Uh, depending on which one, uh, as one of them getting close right there, I see its little head and elbow right there. I take it like an angle where my shot is. I shoot it from top of its sack right through its head, and it just spews its, its pews, all its gook. I'm like, yeah. That's the how it is, and I yell it. Look at it the other way. You see that? That's gonna happen. You come near me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, that just leaves Wraith. All the creatures have acted. Yeah. All the players have. Yes, yeah, leaves me. I'm gonna take a shot at one of the ones still on the ceiling. Okay. Badly. <laughs> uh, we'll see. You're a hero. I believe in you. Mm-hmm. I've managed to land a shot. Yeah. Right. Here we go. Six. <laughs> Six, no. So, would you like to fail or spend a point of resolve and succeed with a consequence? No, I'll, I'll, I'll fail. I'm not a fighter. Okay. He's drinking That's not a fine. Fire. So, yeah, you shoot into the ceiling uh, literally as one of the spiders just kind of agilely ducks to the side from your shot. Uh, and at the same time, it agilely dodges to the side again as your good old friend uh, um, Blackwood. Blackwood takes a shot at them as well and misses. I am Thankfully, so he was aiming shooting. upwards, so he didn't have a chance of hitting any of you. Um, <laughs> but he certainly didn't hit them either. So that brings us to a new round. It's you guys' turn. You decide who goes first. Um, yeah, do you want to go first, Max? Yeah, I, I want to just finish this damn thing off. Try and clean yep. that one out. All right. Yep. Uh, an eight. Damn. Eight's not going to do it. Um, but you can take the miss, or you can spend a point of resolve to re-roll or to succeed at a cost. I'm going to take the miss. I got only. I'm trying to save my re-rolls. Okay. So keep in mind, your resolve is uh, refilling every session. I'm not waiting until the I end understand, but it's you never know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, we'll go ahead and have that one attack you then. There's only one foe, so it's not going to give you any penalties. It's kind of trying to leap up, and it has actually grabbed the side of the bed on the second tier um, because, you know, spider. And it <laughs> is pulling itself up and lashing at you. So why don't you go ahead and make a speed roll to defend yourself? Okay. No penalty, just straight two d six plus speed. All right. Uh, second. That looks like 13. a success. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me how you avoid it. As it comes up right there, I straight kick it, like, you know, kick it right in the face, just enough to, like, you know, as it coming up, kick it in the face and, like, trying to knock it off. Yeah. yeah. I can see you kind of scrambling across the, the, the bed type thing as this thing's coming at you, and you're just kind of lashing out with your feet, kicking it away. Yeah, I see it too, Because <laughs> yeah. it's not a small bed either. It's two meters yeah. long. Um. All right, so cool. Uh, That brings us back to the hero's side, and all three of you are still available to act. Mm. Um, Tony, do you want to go next? I, uh, I feel so bad. Do you yeah. like to go first, or shall I suck? You go. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, I would just be panicking, panic shooting. Okay, you, you would... go then. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Are you? Do you scream when you're shooting? Like, ah! <laughs> yes, probably at this point, yeah. No, I'm gonna Close lie. your eyes. Close your eyes. And... <laughs> Especially because they're like genuinely falling from the ceiling. Yeah, like, <laughs> dropping on us. Yeah. So it's just like, yeah. Um, just wailing. The smell is getting bad too. Oh, that oh. Acrid... 11. Oh, oh. Yeah. you had another one. Yeah. All right, tell me how you take not... it out. Surprisingly, not shit. Um,. I think at this one it's screaming. Uh, it's genuinely just screaming, but again, just shooting um, up blindly. But I think at this one it will probably be more the abdomen, the bigger, 
The bigger target. Just shooting okay. it through the abdomen. So luckily you get it before it was close enough to all of you for the the bits to rain down. That's probably um, why I was screaming because it was getting closer. Like, no, don't <laughs> drop on my head, no. <laughs> so yeah, again, it's it's uh, it's bum sack bursts, and <laughs> it drops to the ground and kind of curls up, and that smell is getting so bad. Ooh. Um, again, so this one actually starts to skitter away. It stays on the ceiling, and it is heading in the direction of the room that Max is in, but you can tell that it's not going into the room. Okay. It's just Ooh. retreating. Um, but it only makes it two range bands if somebody wants to try and move up and take a shot at it, if you care. Um, it's your turn. I mean, I mean, I would like to, but if Wraith wants to do something, I I, I, I wouldn't mind if Wraith oh, did something. Oh, let, let the people who know how to shoot go first, I say. You, you say that, and now I'm probably going to mess that up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, okay, I'll rush forward uh raise the gun in the air and um i will take a shot at that last one as it's retreating okay so you um, move forward one range band and then take a shot is it one range band yeah um yeah that gives me penalty dice does it if it's it'll give you one penalty die yeah okay um you know i'm good I'll... i guess i could make the range rage bands visible for you guys but i feel like you got a good feel for what? it now Oh. oh dear. Oh. I'm going to spend a resolve to succeed, if I may. Uh, you may, and that costs you nothing because you're a soldier. Yeah. So, thank you. Um, yeah, you move forward, and uh, I assume gingerly try to avoid the corpses. The acid. Yeah. And the acid, <laughs> and take a shot. How, How? do you kill it? Um, I I mean it's retreating uh, right away. So I think as it does that, it it. It exposes kind of like the the actual thorax bit, sure. And it shoots it straight through that and and it splits the thing in two as he hits the oh, the middle of the yeah. yeah 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 projectile would do that too. So yeah, you the the sheer force uh, of the projectiles that you're firing. I mean these these rounds I'm I'm picturing are like depleted uranium, like heavy heavy <laughs> rounds. Cool. Um, and so you just shear this thing in twain, and the pieces flop to the floor. They don't even have time to curl up. They're just completely destroyed. Uh, and again, uh, the smell increases. The acid starts to eat into the flooring. Oh, and I'll be shouting, hey, Vero, are you okay? And I got one of those shits in here. <laughs> Wait, me? Yeah, yeah. Wraith and Blackwood. <laughs> There's only... Oh, God. I'll have a go... I'll try and take out the other one on the ceiling if I can, because I uh, know... No, I'm they're to... they're all done in the hallway. You'd have to rush... You won't be able to get to it in time, to be honest, but if you want to rush forward to try and get to the room that Barrow is in... Well, I guess you could get... Since we're just using range, range bands, you can move forward and try and take a shot. We can say that you kind of push yourself to get to the corner of the room and fire in. You're going to be at some penalty because you're just using a pistol, but you could do. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I will do it. I'm not going to hit it anyway, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> just to show yeah. that you can. Because it'll okay, look so you cool. Can, you can technically only move one range band. Yep. That means you're going to be at extreme range, which is. Uh, minus two penalty, so you're rolling 46. Taking the take lowest. the two lowest. Where'd it go? Here we go. Oh, six. Not bad, actually, yeah, it's not six bad. Six plus seven. Oh, oh, seven total. Still a miss. Seven total. You could re roll, or you <laughs> could succeed at a cost. Or you just let it miss? No, I'll I'll just I'll just let it miss. Like I said, I'm I'm, I'm not a fighter. I'm more of a screamer. That's fair. <laughs> so Vero, you see Rafe kind of peek his head around the corner and take a shot into the room. Um, you also see Blackwood do the same. Rafe's shot just goes wide and it's not a concern for you. Blackwood's shot actually manages to uh, hit the bunk that you're on 
just beneath where the spider is clinging onto it. Ooh. And it gives the spider more of an impetus to climb further up onto the bunk after you. Um, <laughs> however, yeah. Blackwood's on our side, by the way. I just wanted to remind us. Yes. He's on your side. Remind everyone. He's on our side. He's a living penalty dice. He um, is. So, so uh, new round. Uh, Darrow, I imagine you probably want to go first, Max. Yes. The spider's still breathing down your neck. Yep. Uh, so I am going to shoot it, but th thankfully I got martial arts. I don't have penalties in shooting it face face to face with it. Correct. All right. Let's see. Roll. Noise. That'll do That'll it. Be a ten. Be a ten. Yeah. Tell me how you take it out. As the thing scared me, like you know, uh, like you know, like skittering towards me, I like you know, I'm on one knee, gun and on like you know, like my hand on top of it, you know, keeping my uh. Gun sight straight, and I just shoot it right through, through just through its head. And as it's dropping, I just kick it down. As it, you know, it lands, I jump down, smash the right minutes of its head to make sure it's dead. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you an extra point of destiny. <laughs> nice. And now I need you, uh, because I'm going to do this. Now I need you to make a instinct test okay it should be one second over here yes okay so is this the record 2d6 2d6 plus instinct okay okay so with that success you notice uh that as you stomp this thing's head, you suddenly notice a smell, and you look down, and your boot is sizzling uh -oh. with the spittle and the acid of this thing. Uh, and I gave you the extra destiny, because I don't know if you did it on purpose or not, but I feel like you were role-playing that you didn't see what was happening in the hall, so you didn't know that they were acidic. Uh, <laughs> And so you are very quickly able to do something about it. The question is, what are you going to do about your acid-soaked boot? Are you going to lose oh. a boot? Oh no, no. It's that, so. Uh, so is this like it's like a mattress type thing? Is it something I could pull over and uh, off one of the uh, beds? So it's more of a mattress. There doesn't appear to be any linen. There doesn't appear to be any like no blanket or sheet. Like the mattress, yeah. So, what, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the bedding as a way to wipe the boots off. Okay, that's not going to work because it's acid. There's very few things you can do with acid, mm. one of which is neutralize it with water. Oh, yeah, I probably have a water skin or something in my utility belt. I'm not going to let you have it just automatically in your utility belt, but if you want to spend a gear point and say that you have a yes, water skin... Yes, I will. Yeah, I will spend that. a gear okay. point to, like, have a You need go. to go to the Shh. toilet at this very moment. <laughs> You're assuming there are toilets. Well, no, I'm just thinking he could pee on his boot. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But no, it's going to try and neutralize you. And, uh, and so, yeah, you pull off, like... Not so much a, a canteen, but think of like a, a squeeze pack of water. You know, they oh, got no, futuristic ways to, to have water. Uh, and so you rupture the bag and, and pour it over your boot, and it very quickly neutralizes the poison uh, of your boots scored up, still solid, and it still functions as a boot. Uh, uh, yeah, it had worse. Was, was a little <laughs> okay. So all of the creatures, at least those present, have been dealt with. Yes. Now what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna start as you know, as these things right oh, here. No. Kill people. I deleted Wraith. He's gone. Oh, Wraith. <laughs> now he is a Wraith. <laughs> really know, right? is one. <laughs> well, I, I yell yeah, well, for everybody right. in here. It's like, hey, there is a bigger room in here. Look like people were sleeping in here, but. 
There's cubbies in here. There might be something in here. Wraith is gone. But on the upside, so has Blackwood. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I get to refresh. Oh, yeah, you, you, you might want to refresh because I threw Wraith back up. Uh, oh, I see him. But, yeah. Hey, 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 yo, Mercy, hey, hey, can you bring that light in here? Um, yeah, sure. And as I'm I'm walking down the corridor, I can see that spider that the last one that I shot. Uh -huh. It seemed to be heading that way, right? And I'm so I'm checking yeah, on the ceiling looking the looking okay. for any little shafts in the ceiling that but these I things might drop down. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So uh you don't see any as yet. Okay. Um <laughs> but as you are moving closer to the doorway, it looks like further down, so past the door of the room that, that Vero is in, mm. it looks like there might be some kind of like fleshy kind of like clusters uh, attached to the ceiling. Ooh, egg sex. Nasty. Ah, yeah. Uh, hmm. Who wants to spend an equipment point on a flamethrower? <laughs> <laughs> or like or some kind of like you know uh like you know flame ceiling or something just like i don't know, like you know have like you know aerosol or something it's like all right infrared flame towers like okay oh I mean, let's see not, yeah they're not hatching or anything at the moment no they don't necessarily have to do anything he, he would explain why the things were aggressive that. though i did say at the moment i always say at the moment <laughs> just so you're aware <laughs> well i'd rather them never know what's now than later. that's that's fair yeah. Uh, I'm not going to okay. tell you not to use your gear points. <laughs> I hope you guys are yeah. keeping track of them. Yep, yes, yep. I should. Um, so let's see. What have we spent gear on today? A water pack. Water pack and the battery. So battery. Far, so far, and we, we did the, the camo cover for the truck as well. Cover for the truck. Yeah, I've got that from last time. Okay. All right. So yeah, do you want to spend gear on something to deal with the the egg clusters? There are several. Um, I'm not want to just leave it for myself. What, what, what it's up to everybody else. It, it didn't seem that hard, but how many more are in there? That's the question, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, as long as you don't go shine the torches at them, maybe we'll be okay. I mean, they'd have heard Possible. the noise, right? If there was anything else in there, they probably would have come out. So, uh, yeah. I just look up at the ceiling where this thing is. Yeah, I'd say with your instinct, as, as a scout, you feel like if they were defending a nest, and if there were more uh, adults yeah. able to defend the nest, they probably would have come. Yeah. So you yeah. feel like this creature some these creatures somehow got in found a place to nest a nest and waiting uh, for yeah. their clutch but like just hasn't happened yet yeah so but what that does also tell you is there was a way for them to get in somewhere ah yes is there would be whole colonies of these things down here i mean we don't know what was down in that big true kind of chamber but um, yep. We can mm. take gas now. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's keep now going. We can, now we can play. What else is in that big yeah. chamber? So, uh, so you, you found some lock boxes or something, Vera? Uh, like you know, there's like uh, little cubbies. He points to one of like the bed that he was at. There's like the little cubbies, like you know, like yeah, kind container of like a built-in like locker. Yeah, yeah. So, um, rather than you know spend all of our game time with you searching all of these lockers, is that something that you're all planning on doing? I mean, you are looking for loots. Yeah, it may have been. I kind of imagine Mercy kind of maybe opening one or two and then getting bored if there was nothing in them. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. So my my question then is how systematic of a search of these fifty odd personal well no more than yeah I said it sleeps about fifty of these fifty odd personal you know containers <laughs> are you guys going to carry out? Ah uh, yeah. 
Probably Is this not. Going to use pull the drill out. Dump it I'll, the I'll give you. I'll give you three options. Are you going to do an incredibly thorough search? Are you going to do a mediocre search? Or are you going to do a fast uh, surface level search? I think probably fast is probably the best. Mm. Yeah, I don't think any of us want to stick around here right now. (laughs) So I will determine for next session what you find with your fast surface level search. Okay, excellent. But you do find some some things that are odd and different uh, and you can't really tell if maybe they're useful at all, but being that they are essentially from this place and and strange artifacts of a kind, they probably have some value. Okay. Um, actually, why don't everybody roll a d6 for me? Okay. Who's that? That's, <laughs> That's landing on its edge. Look at that one. <laughs> yeah, well, look at mine. Got caught. Oh, it's like, cool. yeah. What did what did that count yours as, Max? Three Two counted it three. as three. Yeah, it, it counted as a three, but it's caught. Yeah. I'm like, really? <laughs> All right. I didn't like see Wraith or um, wow. three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Mercy, Vero, and Wraith all got three. I got four. Yeah, yeah. Or okay, I didn't see yours. Cool. So yeah, we'll I'll figure out some lists for that for next time. Uh, somebody make a roll for Blackwood. Me. You want me to do that because my little yeah, dice is yeah, terrible. Yeah, well, yeah, do that. You do it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 it was like I look at Blackwood. I'm like, if you find something good, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'll probably yeah. get a gun. I'm like, I'll pass it over. Yeah, just say give it. No, he's here to earn too. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, well, uh, we decide what he's gonna earn. Oh, I mean, it's a thirty seventy split, right? If it wasn't for him, oh, we oh. wouldn't even be here. We'd be making, like, real money. You never really... <laughs> so, are you going to push him on that right now? Because we can do that. I thought I'll I did the... back in the truck. I'll look at the others, and if we did find something good... Uh, like... Are you are you telling him to fork over? Ooh. Yeah, I'll tell him to fork over. He's like, oh, you... this is not the hall. These are just incidental. This is... Yeah, yeah. Well, even some incidental yeah. might be something nice. Yeah, incidentally, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, now we're all adventurers here. If you want more, you can search for more. Are are we not moving on? Did Blackwood actually search himself? He did. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You went through several containers, as you all were. Yeah. In fact, he did. He did very well, apparently. He did, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for this man. We have a whole complex to explore. Yeah, yeah, he's got a point. Uh, like, you know, he just he just looks at gives a, a look to uh all right, and it's like, well, that's your thirty percent. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe from this room. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's um, concerned Blackwood will to fight. Are off. That's that's almost what it is. You guys found a total of thirteen. He found no. It's he got about fifty percent. Wow. Well, um, but still, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's still, more still plenty more to come. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any other ways so there, out of this chamber, or is it just that one way in? So there's, there's a couple of doors uh, attached to this room. These doors are closed, but they appear to have more, um, I, I guess, low-tech uh, uh, handles attached. Ah. Okay. Um, I'll hand um, Varrowy's torch back anyway. Thank you. And um, are these sliding doors or swinging doors? Can we tell? Uh, um, yeah. You would guess from their construction, probably sliding. Yeah, the space doors, mate. 
Oh. All space doors are sliding doors. We all know that. Space doors. Okay, <laughs> then do they slide outwards, upwards, or downwards? I mean, yeah. Yeah, the Right then. <laughs> yeah. Shall, shall me with my lantern slide the door open while someone covers the opening just in case? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I can I can cover you. Right. It's not being melodramatic at all, with my fingers I will count him down. Three. Two, <laughs> one. I should just quickly whip the door open and yeah. jump to one side, <laughs> revealing an empty room. No, in my life. Hang on, I'm finding a, a gif of the the way the doors open. Now that you've pushed me, no, oh, it's going to be the ones that dissolve like liquid, like <laughs> kind of run no, down. No, no, no. <laughs> if it's an iris lock, I am not cutting my fingers off. No, in answer to the question, do they slide to the right, up, or down, or diagonally, the answer is yes. Let's see if we can just... just okay. Ooh, ooh, that's swish. Yeah, I can't like those. Mm -hmm. Have you seen those? I, I have, yeah. I am. Uh, I, 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 I played with a couple oh, of those wow. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it makes, makes a lot of sense. Yep. Is the drift working for you guys? No. I don't know. No, but I've seen no, that. I've, no. the, just the pattern on the doors. I know. I know which ones they are. They look so swish. So, um, yeah, there's a couple of them. Uh, one door, just to cut it short. I mean, you're probably not going to find much. Uh, one door goes to what appears to be kind of a communal washroom. You would imagine. Uh, there appears to be stalls uh, and also uh, kind of sinks, uh, basins of some kind that you would imagine have some kind of water output, um, you know, all things poop. So this is <laughs> probably what that is. You, there are some larger stalls that you assume might be showers or some kind of uh, cleansing uh, process. Uh, and then the other door that you open leads to kind of a large space with long uh, tables that have attached benches, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, Using my medical knowledge and sure. looking at the um, uh, the facilities in the washroom, can I tell whether or not these creatures were actually humanoid? Whether or not they were humanoid? Hmm. I mean, you you would make that assumption based on everything you've seen so far. Yeah. The doors, the beds... Uh, larger than human, as Mercy pointed out, right? But you would assume humanoid, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. You would also assume bipedal, or at, at the very least bipedal. I mean, I guess you can't rule out quadrupeds, although the beds pretty much rule out quadrupeds if we're honest uh -huh. um yeah because i think quadrupeds would have to sleep standing up no i guess horses and cows lay down yeah they wouldn't Can lay be. down on a bed um they might be faint so... <laughs> <laughs> we're going back to so, the yeah. travel again no <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, you would you would assume bipedal humanoid, large. Uh, the second door, though, as I was saying, appears to be you would guess probably some type of cafeteria. It looks like in the back, if you go further in, there's some kind of. Hmm. I mean, does this facility. resemble some kind of barracks? I say this really, it does. is that is yeah. that the the deal? Right. Yeah. Um. Okay. I guess we don't want to find too much here, right? You're going to want to find the armory now, aren't you? No, I just want to know where all the fancy toys are. Where are all the fancy toys, Blackwood? In the armory. So, yeah. Blackwood oh. kind of shrugs, and he's like, it, I was told there would be a lot here. I, I, I don't know what to tell isn't, you. Isn't this supposed to be a cave system? That's it's, what I was told, yes. Well, I mean, it's dark, and there are tunnels. 
So do you want to search the rest of this level or do you want to continue heading downwards? There are still a few more doors, the hallway and T's at the end. What do we find, um, find here? I'd be more inclined, but yeah, if we were going to search the rest of the floor, it'd be a case of opening doors and sticking your head in and having a look around. If it looks like I, mean, I, can, I can speed through things, it. Yeah, then we probably wouldn't um, yeah. oops, spend oops, oops, oops. too much time there. So again, not a deep search, just a surface yeah. level. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you open several more doors on this level. You follow all the, the halls to their apparent ends and you find more spaces that that kind of solidify the thought that you had mercy definitely and if you discussed it with anyone else everyone else would would have to agree uh that yeah this appears to have been some kind of base um you find a couple of offices with larger uh more looks to be probably single occupant oriented rooms larger okay. beds like offices more storage I, I mean am i getting the feeling that this was a military type establishment uh, so when you find the armory that yes that ah. actually definitely <laughs> so here's the bad news it doesn't look like the armory is stocked but okay. you know you know an armory when you see one so does yeah. Vero. You know, there are racks and racks um, that are almost entirely empty that would contain what you would assume are weapons of various types, uh, shelves that you would assume would carry ammunition crates. Um, you also find a couple of what can't be anything other than like server rooms. Um, you find what appears to be a control center that has uh, consoles and daises kind of lining uh, everywhere, uh, the perimeter of the room, as well as kind of an upraised section, um, none of them powered. The control center, interestingly enough, does have uh, kind of a full window uh, along one wall that your orientation tells you would look out into the space that you uh, uh, kind of found at 10 levels higher. Um, I don't know if anybody would be interested in taking a look out that window. I mean, uh, would we would we see anything more than we did from the other... Would, now that you're lower down. No, in that case, most definitely. I'm imagining some kind of hangar or something. Uh, but... And you're not wrong. So oh. <laughs> as, you, as you look out, uh, you see what looks to be, it's still pretty far, but you feel like you're probably looking at the upper levels of what might be a ship. Oh. Down in the deep. Oh my god, Mercy's going to pinch it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but the he, would try and get he'll need, he'll need well, somebody. There's no <laughs> way he's leaving that. He'll there. need somebody else to fly it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hello. Hmm. Yeah. And I'd be like, hey, 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 take a look at this. And I'll gesture, you know, gesture for everybody to come over to the window and take a look down. Junior is Mercy breathing rather heavily. Is that a <laughs> ship down there? That's a ship, right? Uh, so, it looks like a ship. Kalia uh, isn't sure. Maybe um, it's not. Certainly not any class of ship she's seen. Your your mm. best assumption, based on what you can see, is you would probably class it as a large freighter. Mm. Um, but it's definitely got a lot cleaner lines and a lot more kind of almost organic look than Ooh. anything you've ever seen or worked on. Could be a ship. Um, yeah, I'll just... I'll say we check it out. Yeah. So I turn, I turn to Mercy and First, like, we've got to go down there. Can you, can you see your way in for down there? Because I assume... Yeah, because he had the binoculars, didn't you? Oh, he did. Yeah. So I got the fancy schmancy binoculars. binoculars? Uh, yeah. Can, can we 
see the oh. ground out of this window? Can we see like the floor of the chamber that the ship is in? No, I think we can only just see the top couple of level level or two of the ship. I think is Correct. what you said, wasn't it? Yeah. So... Unless somebody's pulling out their macro binoculars. Well, uh, we did spend it, didn't we? we that was another right. equipment point did, spend that we made. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was just Let's waiting for somebody to say they were using them. <laughs> oh, I, I I completely forgotten that ago. <laughs> I ought to write it down. You know what it's like. Yeah. Let's get the old bins out. What's that four for, Tony? Just had a random four show up. Yeah, Yeah. no, I think it reloaded because it reloaded the players on my screen. That was my last roll. That's fine. Um, So with macro binoculars, if Mercy is using them and Vera, I think, has a pair as well, um, you look down, and the the computing systems of the macro binoculars takes in information, ultraviolet, infrared, a lot of different sources, and kind of stitches together almost a wireframe of Ooh. what you can't quite see just in the visible spectrum. And so this ship is, is actually massive. It is not a freighter. Uh, if anything, it looks like a freighter docked on top of a cruiser. It is absolutely <laughs> gigantic. Mm. Um, okay. It's also not complete. So it looks like it was being built. So this might be some kind of shipyard. Isn't it? Shipyard. Right. Um, however, uh, if you kind of glance around with those binoculars, you also see a couple of other interesting things. Number one, if you look up, you do see what appears to be uh, now with the added information from the macro binoculars, you can see what appears to be like an openable hangar bay above, Ooh. right? Yeah. Um, you also notice, and I'm just kind of saving the best for last here. Uh, you notice another ship kind of off to the side, landed. Um, it's an Imperium strike vessel. Oh. Oh, God. How the hell did they get here? Um, and I, I'll pass the binoculars back to whoever wants to take a look. Oh, it'd be Kylie. She wants to look at the ship. Yeah. Looking at the ship. Oh, so we go to the smaller one? Looking at this big partially built ship, there's only one thing I can say. Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, are you going to finish it yourself? Is that, is that your new project car? <laughs> Salvage. Woo! Spaceship that you don't know how it's built. <laughs> <laughs> there's um, got to be books out there. There's so- got to be books out there. For the where the imperial ship is concerned, and where technology is concerned, how often would they, example, like update things? So I'm trying to like looking. Oh, at you're it trying is, to figure out if it's an old, an if, older. Yeah, if it's an old or version it's... or it's one of the newest versions, so like give have a, a transports gauge. roll. Give me a transports roll. Ooh. Uh, transports. I don't know why I checked. That's always three. Noise. Noise. Oh, did it with a nine. Good roll. So, yes, uh, Kalia actually realizes if you borrow the binoculars and take a look at it, that is an old uh, vessel. Um, okay. You're betting it's probably at minimum a hundred years old. Oof. Can, you see, can yeah. you see any lights on it? It's not last year's model. No, it's not lit. Uh, if it was, if it was lit, you'd be able to see seen, it from where yeah. you are, right? <clears throat> yeah. Um, okay. At least the outline of it. Hmm. The question now is: Is it dead or just mothballed? Well, I mean, the power source will probably, probably still be intact unless it was intentionally damaged. It'll just need booting up. Right, unless it was scuttled. But normally, you don't scuttle ships on the ground. Yeah. Unless you're planning on taking them apart. Mm. Um, yeah, because so obviously I'll, I'll, I'll share that just, with the rest. And like this. So does Kayla, do you actually say that it's an Imperium ship out loud? Because if I want oh, to see, I'm looking Mercy, to see what... Mercy would recognize it too. 
Yeah, no, I'm no, I'm so wanting to watch. I'm wanting to watch Blackwood's reaction. Um, probably, okay. probably, because especially if Mercy didn't. Um, because obviously yeah. at this point, look, look, seeing the ships and everything, some Kayla's like a little bit excited and just like, and then saw the ship. It's like, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. and then rhyming it off that, oh, it's like it's like a hundred years old. It's like almost a relic. I I wonder if it's gonna be work. Like the power, like the power unit could be good. Like we could have a ship there. I mean, it's so, Imperial, so I don't know what we're going to do. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> if Mercy is looking at Blackwood as Kalia kind of just goes off talking about it, you see him kind of almost tilt his head to the side as he's hearing all this, almost in amusement. He does not appear hmm. surprised that there's an Imperium ship down there. Oh, okay. Hmm. So what do we do? Take the small one, keep, and just come back for the big one, or I'm, I'm just, again, I'm just the big one like... is nowhere near complete. It's not complete, yeah. I'm just imagining and Mercy and Vera essentially like, alien technology about becoming space pirates. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, I mean, we've got to figure out how to get down there. To be fair, if you want the ship, also yeah. you wouldn't be able to take it anywhere right now because the yeah. hangar doors are closed. Oh yeah, true. They need power. Yeah. There's no power. See, these are just the steps that we need to figure out if you want to take that ship. And the, you know, these are the steps that now Kaylee is now thinking of. Yeah, I mean, so, that, that thing is—it's like a hundred years old. Yeah, you, you said right. Yeah. I mean, I, nobody, nobody's going to be coming back for that thing, right? No, I mean. Like on these type of ships, are there a specific? Are they a specific style, or is it just specific? Um, specific, um, like stick. Oh, I can't think of the proper word, but like stickers and stuff on it. Oh, the decal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, does it have like emblazons on it, yeah. indicating Insignia, that it. it's an Imperium ship? Yes. Yeah. Is now would it be a specific style? Be... Sorry. So, a hundred years ago. The Imperium was using ships much like anyone else. Um, it, to someone in the know, they would be able to identify it as an Imperium ship, but if we're completely honest, most ships that people are piloting around right now technically are Imperium ships. Mm. Currently, this one is emblazoned as a military ship, but that's something you can change. Yeah. Um, okay. you know, yeah. yeah, so it's like... paint, little work. Uh, yeah. But there's also the concern of um, if you do get it functioning, uh, you'll have to look into its uh, essentially it's a, it's oh, what's the word? Why do I always forget? Every sci-fi show does it. So it's it's transmission codes essentially. Like yeah. every ship is oh, identifiable like transponder. Yeah. transponder. That's what yeah. I was looking for. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's it's probably got an Imperium military transponder, uh, yeah. and that will need to be spoofed or changed. So, uh, does, does it require a specific crew? If so, how many? Is there an AI on board? I mean, so, I think a hundred years ago. I mean, if the ships now just generally have a pilot and maybe a droid, a hundred years ago, it wouldn't be that yeah. much different. Is For Star Wars ships, they don't have France AIs. Valves, you know, it's like. No, no. Uh, so controls. the thing you have to keep in mind is like most of the ships that um, the rebels use in Star Wars, those are all old ships. Yeah. Uh, the Empire has continued to advance in technology, but the rebels haven't. Nobody else has been allowed to, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, most of your X Wings are at least 100 years old, not older. So this is kind of in that same arena. Hmm. Um, now, as far as what you would need to crew it, it's roughly freighter size, although it is a battleship, essentially. Um, well, battleship isn't the right word. Think of it more as like, it's not a starfighter, cruiser? but it's more of a... It's what's a destroyer. That? I think yes. it's a cruiser. I think. Oh, no, that. it wouldn't be a cruiser. It's more of a destroyer. It's a it? small... Uh, it's a small mm -hmm. attack ship, right? So mm -hmm. it yeah, would be I... it, it would be along the same lines of like slightly larger than the Millennium Falcon, but actually as a military attack ship. Yeah. Uh, Is it like the one in the Mandalorian where the when those guys like the Mandalorians were selling the imp ships 
they're like they're like the small little like freighter size, but just a little bigger assault ships. You mean like the Racer Crest? It's not. It's bigger than the Racer Crest. I mean, we're we're talking. Think closer to the Rasenate. Uh, yeah. In, oh, okay. Um, the Expanse. Like this is this is a warship. It's a destroyer. Uh, so crew wise, it probably has a crew requirement of five to six people. So mm. you would be pushing yourself with your current crew to get it running. Although that's in full combat mode, right? Like yeah. You might not be able to utilize all of the weapons if you were in combat with a crew of four. Uh, but piloting it is still going to require one person, right? Yeah. It's not quite so large as, as a cruiser or a frigate that requires a much larger crew to pilot. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And you know we've got Blackwood, who's worth two of any 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 of us, right? <laughs> Not really. That's assuming you're going to want to take him with you. <laughs> um, so <laughs> to answer, I don't know if I don't know if you heard me flee, but like this, there's no AI. Like AI is unheard of in uh, this okay, okay. world. Um, the only a in terms of what you're thinking of AI. Uh, the farthest you go for AI is like bots, right? Like yeah, technically, really. if he is an AI, right? Mm -hmm. um, right okay. Yeah. But people don't have AI on their ships. It's, it's people flying. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're taking the ship then if we can find a way down to it. I mean, I, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a big if, right? I mean, we got to open those goddamn doors up there to let this thing out. I mean, we don't know. Maybe there's somebody down there that is living in it. We don't know. Maybe it's infested with these spider things. Let's take, go take a look. And... Oh, that's a really good point too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep, let's keep looking. I'm, I mean, I'm sure. There are the artifacts that um, mm. this Blackwood is after somewhere, mm. but that ship is definitely yep. worth something. If, honestly, if they're anywhere, they're going to be deeper. And if we, as we head down, we've got to come across some way to get into that hangar some, sometime sooner or later. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so... But why isn't Blackwood surprised that there's an imperial warship here? Mm. Question is: Is so, this uh, supposed cave actually an abandoned imperial base? Oh no! No, like this, no. this they, technology, like no, unless they took it over. Yeah, to use remember it these, as, as a base, the people that built but, it were bigger than human humans, yeah. weren't they? So, yeah, maybe they did. Maybe they came here to. Maybe they were looking for something. Like we are. The base, the base must have been operational when that ship, when that imperial ship, landed here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to close the doors. I mean, maybe they're the ones that knocked it out with all the shooting. Well, um, guess we'll find out. Yeah, we can head back to the stairs, take them, see how far down they go. So, you know, thus far, I mean, this place has been pretty big, but it's a fairly easily planned out, you know, essentially, you know, base level, as it were. <clears throat> um, so it's easy to get back to the stairs. Once you get there, I need everybody to make an instinct check for me. Oh, heck. <laughs> instinct. Two dice. Uh, yeah, just two dice. Look at that, Wraith. Yeah. Yeah, Wraith did, I think. Nice. Fortunately, I didn't 11. see anything. That's or whatever. 13. So, Seven. Mercy and Wraith. Wraith, yeah. Um, 
as you step out, because I Mercy and and Vero tend to sounds like you tend to let them go first. Yeah. Um, as you step through the door uh, into the stairwell, you hear, and Rafe can hear it too, even though he may not have hit the landing yet. The distinct sound of boots tromping on metal stairs. <laughs> like many, many, or <laughs> just just a pair. Many coming oh. from above. Oh, oh. okay. Yeah. And I think we'll call it there for today. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How rude. Yeah, that's a good ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How am I supposed to sleep tonight now? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. That's pretty cool. The cliffhanger, yeah. Thanks, Brian. That was great. Yeah, Yeah, thank you for the great. Yeah, Yeah, enjoying it. Enjoying this. Excellent. Yeah. I'm Uh, going to go steal that ship. uh, Yeah, maybe. (laughs) I will. You you just (laughs) will find a way. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. You're just all thinking space pirates now, aren't you? Uh, no, just just beware. You know, um, old spaceships that you find in in you know on on these old old planets. You know, we've seen Alien. Let's not be too hasty. All right. <laughs> Computer, are we ready to take off? Yes, Dave, we're ready to take off. <laughs> you know, it's. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, that's cool. <sighs> Excellent. Yes, thank you very right, much. So yeah. Thanks again. Yeah. Another destiny point. Oh, I think did I, did I get an extra one? Did you give me an extra one? Because you said we all had five, oh, didn't we? I counted that in the five that I gave so, you because technically okay. we've only had four sessions. No, that's cool then. Yeah. Nice. Um, I, so did, I didn't want to give myself an extra one. Sure. If you want to think about spending it, you can. Although, again, Destiny is not cheap. But as a quick reminder, what page? Um, yeah, because I can't remember okay. what we do with Destiny. So yeah. it's your experience. Um, increasing an ability by one point costs double the new score. So taking speed from two to three costs six destiny. Ooh. Increasing resolve by one point costs the new value. So going from seven to eight costs eight destiny. And buying a new talent or mystic power costs five destiny. Buying a new archetype talent costs 15. Oh, wow. Okay. So you yeah. all could probably afford a new talent. Um, or or a skill increase you can afford I think at least one two to three perhaps or one to two uh, if you wanted to do that Um, but yeah so think about that for next time if we need to spend a little time going over some talents and stuff before we start we can yeah I'm I'm looking I'm looking at the powers list it's like (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, that'd be yeah. cool. cool that's great yes thank you thanks a lot oh, and come up with your with your valuable alien knickknacks next time too okay <laughs> Ooh, oh yes valuable he says Val- in air I quotes. Say valuable in air <laughs> quotes notice i nobody responded but i did also say when i was describing the the armory that the mostly empty racks I, I I did I did notice that you said mostly. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, if anything, there might have been something that we might have saw, like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> uh, we can we can talk about that maybe next time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um. Um. Catch you. I suppose at the weekend, some of you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'll be there for at least two hours on Saturday. Yeah, cool. Stream's gonna shorten it up for me, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. Are you have so a really... social life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife, my wife doesn't really like large crowds unless I'm present. Cause... I can, I can understand that. Yep. yep. Uh-huh. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> That's going yeah. Totally empathize. You guys get a new card. 
we do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, just yeah. dropped out there. Just dropped out. Well. Uh, I love the I love the collection of cards that we're actually getting. That is pretty yeah. cool. I'm glad you enjoy it. I just thought it was a fun thing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it is cool. Yeah, and that is really right. cool. Right, yeah. Uh, 